everyone. It is Mark Berman from TBMI. It is Friday, May 8th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. As you can see, I am back from INTX in Chicago, which was formerly known as The Cable Show. It was a great three-day gathering. I am looking forward to returning next year, where it will be in Boston. Now, let's begin today with news on a number of new Network series pickups for next season. Now, keep in mind that the five broadcast networks next week will be officially, officially, excuse me, unveiling their fall schedules to advertisers in New York City. NBC and Fox will present their lineups on Monday, although we will have NBC schedule on Sunday and we'll post that on our website. ABC is Tuesday, CBS is Wednesday, and the CW is on Thursday. But of course, this week, news of all the new shows and cancellations are coming out. ABC will introduce at least nine new series. There were three comedies and six dramas. The comedies are called Dr. Ken, The Real O'Neills, and The Revival of the Muppets. The dramas are called The Catch, The Family of Kings and Prophets, Quantico, Wicked City, and an untitled project from Josh Pate and Rhodes Fishburne. To make room for these new shows, ABC has canceled sitcom Cristela, Dramas Forever, Resurrection and Revenge and Reality Competition, The Taste. The network has renewed the remainder of its current series, excluding Last Man Standing, which is in conversations to return for a fifth season. I have a complete description of the nine new ABC series at our website, www.tvmediainsights.com. Over at Fox, the network has announced at least five new shows for next season. They are Single Camera Sitcoms Grandfathered with John Stamos, The Grinder with Rob Lowe, and The Guide to Surviving Life, which will tell the tale of some recent college graduates entering the real world. In addition to already announced drama Scream Queens anthology drama from Ryan, o Ryan Murphy, we will have a new drama called Rosewood. Once again, visit our website for a complete description of these new series. And the CW has announced an upcoming spinoff of Arrow and the Flash called Legends of Tomorrow. It also picked up iZombie for a second season, which means that the CW next season will have four dramas on the air based on characters from DC Comics. That is pretty significant. And of course, earlier in the week, CBS announced that it has picked up Supergirl. I will have more updates for you throughout the day and the weekend at our website on the new shows coming up next season, so please check us out. Heading over to cable, Adult Swim has unveiled its upcoming new programming initiatives for next season. Adult Swim will unveil its schedule next Wednesday at the Turner Upfront, but visit our website for a complete listing of what lies ahead on Adult Swim. Esquire Network has picked up its first scripted drama. It is called Spotless. It has ordered 10 episodes. Once again, visit our website or check out today's newsletter for a description. And BBC America has ordered a fourth season of Orphan Black. The network has picked up 10 new episodes. Coming up on the air tonight, we have the season finale of Hawaii Five-0 on CBS. Uh, there were two episodes, and the show is certain to return next season. Over at Netflix, they are debuting a new comedy. It's called Grace and Frankie with Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. The two have not worked together since theatrical 9 to 5. That was over 30 years ago. All 13 episodes will be available for streaming, effective at 3.01 a.m. this morning. And then on Sunday on CBS, we have the season finale of The Good Wife, which is also a officially returning on CBS, but I am predicting the network will move it to another time period, perhaps 10 o'clock on Sunday. Today in TV history, let's go back to 1984. This really ages me. On this day was what many thought was the series finale of Happy Days featuring the wedding of Joni and Chachi. Well, it wasn't the series finale. There were five additional episodes that were burnt off that summer. Happy Days ran on ABC for 10 and a half seasons. And on ABC in 2011 was the series finale of family drama Brothers and Sisters, which ran for five seasons. Now, before I depart, again, check out our website throughout the day and throughout the week, and I will have complete updates for you on what lies ahead on the fall schedules next week, which will be the busiest week of the year. I thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will see you back on Monday. Take care.